Soldier Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Sometimes fellas and girls are inclined to persecute the fellow who lives next door or goes to school with them. Oh, they don't do it deliberately. It's done because they think that a fellow who doesn't care the fist fight is a sissy. You know what I mean. Right now, you're thinking of someone like this. But fist fighting doesn't mean that a fella is a gentleman or that he's got courage and determination. I know a teenage lad who has a great ability with music, but he doesn't like fist fight. His name is Roger Holmes. Listen for the story of the fighting system. Come on, Rod. Put up your dupes and fight. Why? I haven't done anything to you. Uh, what's the matter? You afraid? No, I'm not afraid of you, Hank. I'm afraid I might hurt my oh, hand. Yeah. He's afraid he might hurt his hand. He's afraid he yeah. I am not. He's afraid he might hurt his paws. How about that, father? <laughs> Come on, Hank. Stop calling. Let him have it. Yeah, this won't Come take on. long. Roger, I'm going to clobber you. Yeah. What for? I haven't done anything to you. That's because you think you're so smart at the piano. That's why. You mean you're going to beat me up because I like music? Yeah. You're always so snooty about it. That's a lie. I always talk to you, fellas. That ain't cool. Hank, make him take that back. Come yeah. on. Come on. You're calling me a liar, Roger? Take it any way you like. Well, I'll show you what I like right in the middle. Ah. Come on, Hank. Go ahead and duck around. Come on, here. All right. Uh, 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 give him some more. Come on. Hey, there we go. No, Captain. What? What's going on here, fellas? Uh, we're having a fight. Hello, Roger. Hello, Bill. What's the trouble? Oh, just a difference of opinion, I guess. A difference of opinion, my eye. The good thing you showed up, Ranger. Your friend would have gotten the tar knocked out of you. Now look, you <laughs> fellas are about to shove off. How many does it take to fight one? Uh, Go on now, run along. Uh, fight now. Get going. Uh, you all right, Roger? Yeah, I guess so. Let me drive you home. We can talk things over on the way, huh? Bill? Oh, that's a good question, Roger. Must have had something on my mind. Turned into the street, pulled up into the alley, turned around. Looks like the Lord planned that I should find you in trouble, huh? I don't know what you mean, Bill. You mean the Lord planned that you should find me here? Roger, many times strange things happen. You don't realize the Lord planned it to happen for a definite purpose. I still don't get you, Bill. It's <laughs> no wonder, Roger. Guess I've made myself clear. Uh, that's your house up ahead there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we got here fast. I'd like to explain a little more what I said about the Lord, if you want me to. Sure. Won't you come in for a while, Bill? I'd like to play for you, too, if I could. Hey, I'd like nothing better than to hear you play, Bill. Huh? You've got an audience. other instruments? Yeah, the organ. I practiced that in the high school auditorium. Yeah, I'd like to hear you. You have real talent in music. Yeah, but I can't, I can't do much else. Like fighting. I'm no good at all. Well, do you think that's absolutely necessary? 
Well, I'd like to defend myself when the fellow starts picking on me. No, they're just jealous of your musical ability, right? Say, have you ever thought of using your musical talent for the Lord Jesus Christ? You're, you're talking over my head again, Bill. What do you mean? Well, you go to Sunday school or church, don't you? No, my dad doesn't believe in it. He thinks I'm a sissy because I like music and I want to go to church. So rather than have trouble, I stay home away. Mm, I see. Well, uh, you've heard about God, haven't you? Oh, sure. Everybody's heard about God. God has a son, Jesus. Oh, I've heard about him, too. But do you know him, Roger? Jesus isn't only God's son. He's our Savior, too. You need a Savior. I don't understand. Please explain. Sure. Let me tell you all of what God has done for you. You see, in the beginning of this world, God tested the first man as to what sort of stuff he was made of. And Adam, sorry to say, chose to disobey God and thus has affected his descendants all down through the years. Men today have a tendency to sin. Just take a glance at the paper tonight, and you'll find that item after item tells about man's sin. Yeah, I guess you're right. But I'm not the bad sinner. The Bible tells us that all have sin come short of God's glory, Roger. Now, this doesn't mean just violent sin. Why, it could be said that we sin even when we don't include God in our life. Just sort of ignore him. Uh-huh. But the bright side of the truth is this. That despite man's failure, God has made a way to blot out all the past and give men a new start. It's through the death of Jesus Christ. For in that, he was punished for our sins. With the penalty of our sins paid, we have eternal life. Then it's all automatic. <laughs> no, that's where we as individuals come in, Roger. God has made it possible for us to be saved from our sins. But we have to agree to it. We have to receive Christ as our own Savior. That, briefly, is what God calls the gospel. The good news of salvation. Bill, how can I become a Christian? Well, the first thing is to be sorry for your sins and come to Christ for cleansing. But, Bill, I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> We've all come far short of what God wants us to be around you. Isn't that true? It must be true, because God says it is. I see. Uh, that is. Uh, let me play the piano for you again, Bill. You're all right, Roger. Uh, for Bill. Bill? Bill who? Dad, this is Ranger Bill Jefferson. Bill, I'd like you to meet my dad. How do you do, Mr. Holmes? My name's Frank, Ranger. Glad to meet you. And your son's a very fine musician, Frank. Eh, that's all right, as long as it isn't his whole life. I want him to grow up to be a man. Learn to handle his fist. Defend himself. Well, I think you'd be proud of his ability. Some folks would give their right arm to have his talent. Yeah. And he's got to know how to face the struggles of life. That's the most important thing. You don't get it sitting down at the piano. That's as much a part of the struggle as anything else. Oh, but you don't know the facts. But every lad in the neighborhood tries to beat his ears off just because he can't defend himself. That's only a matter of instruction. You think so? <laughs> and I tried to teach him a matter of forgetting about music and doing other things. I see. Well, I'll be running along. Uh, glad to have met you. Thanks for listening to me play, Bill. Thank you for playing, Roger. I'd like to hear some more sometime. Sure, come over any time. You needn't bother, Mr. Jefferson. He gets enough encouragement from his mother. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> Bill, we go get report from Dan on six black bears. All right, Grey Wolf. 
If they're over a dozen thick, we'll have to keep the tourists out of the park until we round up the crabby Bruins. Ah, not right. Here come Roger Holmes up street. Don't let Stumpy sleep too long. I'll see you later. Okay, Grey Wolf. Roger's coming here, huh? <laughs> Stumpy must have hit a knot in the lawn. Hello, Bill. Oh, Roger. This is a surprise. Come on in. Are you busy? I don't want to interrupt. I'm never too busy to have a chat. Grab a chair, young fellow. Thanks, Bill. You're very kind. Oh, forget it. I like to talk with people. Especially young people. Hey, Stumpy. Wake up. Fire, fire. <laughs> What's wrong, Sonny? <laughs> we got a visitor, Stumpy. I'd like you to meet Roger Holmes. Roger, this is Stumpy Jenkins. <laughs> Hello, Stumpy. I'm glad to meet you. And me too, young fella. So you're the lad who can tickle the ivory so pretty, huh? Bill's been telling me about you. Oh, I'm just average. Yeah, maybe so, but... If you keep exercising those fingers of yours for the next five years, you'll be a whiz. Thanks, Stumpy. Only I didn't come over to talk about music. I want to talk about fighting. Fighting? What do you mean, Roger? Bill, do you think I could learn how to defend myself? Why, sure you can, Roger. What's the stuff? Well, well, nothing, I guess. Only is it possible to learn without hurting my hands? <laughs> it sure is, sonny. Only an amateur hurts his hands fighting. Yeah, but I'm not even a beginner, Stumpy. Well, I know the fellow that can make you a veteran. You do? Do you ask him to teach me? <laughs> ask him yourself. He's sitting right alongside of me. <laughs> Bill. I'm here for my first lesson. Right on time, too. Now, Roger, I'd like you to meet another of my rangers. Now, this big fellow here is Grey Wolf. And Grey Wolf, this is Roger Holmes. Ah, I met your dad. I'm plenty glad to meet you, too, Roger. So you're Grey Wolf. I've heard about you from Henry. Uh, Grey Wolf's going to work out with us for a few times, Roger. He and I will demonstrate how it's done, and then we'll teach you. That's wonderful. I don't have any boxing gloves yet. You not need boxing gloves for a long while. Bill and I teach you jujitsu. Jujitsu? But but you can break somebody's neck with that, can't you? <laughs> Take it easy, fella. We're only going to teach you some of the less dangerous holds. Mm, then after you learn jujitsu, we show you a little how to handle fists. Maybe I'm not going to be able to learn. Now, listen, young fella. Let's not have any doubts at all. There's a verse in the Bible that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. Remember those words. It was spoken by the Apostle Paul, a man who suffered from infirmities and doubt as to his own abilities. But he depended on the Lord for his strength and help. I will too then. I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. That's it? I feel better already, Bill. Good. Well, let's go into the back room. Got some gym mats on the floor there. Now, uh, Grey Wolf and I will show you some jujitsu holds. You watch and see how it's done. I'll watch closely, Bill. And you can try some holds. The biggest factor is surprise. Now, look. Boy, that's a good hold, Bill. Yeah. Now it's your turn to try. You make sure you move plenty quick. Can I go through it first in slow motion? And up, boy, Roger. You think I'm catching on quickly enough? Catching on? You're doing it like a professional. Do you think Roger will play for the rally, Bill? I don't know, old timer. I hope so. Now, the auditorium's down at the end of the hall. Hey, the addition they made to the high school sure makes it a big building, huh? I'll say it does. Hey, Bill. I can hear the young fella squeezing the pipes now. Yeah. It does a good job, doesn't it? 
Now, here's the door, Stumpy. Now, that was terrific, Roger. Made me tinkle right down to my little toe. Thanks. Now, Rog, I came over for a special purpose. To ask you to play at the Youth for Christ rally a week from Saturday night at the Goose Lake Auditorium. Well, I, uh... I, uh... Now don't just uh, sit there and make a noise like a bullfrog, Rog. I, I don't feel that I could live up to the expectations, fellas. Listen, Rog. Remember what the Apostle Paul wrote? Yes. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Right. With a promise like that, you don't have a thing to worry about. Okay. I'll play for the rally. Keep your chin in, Raj. Somebody will hang one on it. Like this? Yeah. Now keep your left in my face or abdomen all the time. Save your right for the sledgehammer punch. Watch for an opening now. Use your right. Uh, I didn't mean to hit you, Bill. Oh, never mind that. Watch for another opening. And throw your heavy-duty punch. Okay. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Hello, Bill. Frank Holmes, how are you, sir? Bill, what's this I hear about you getting Roger interested in religion? What do you mean, Frank? I mean this stuff about being a Christian. Going to Sunday school and church and that sort of Tommy Rod. You call that Tommy Rod, Frank? You heard me, Bill. I appreciate your help in teaching him self-defense, but lay off the religion. It'll only make him a bigger sissy than he is now. Frank, do you think I'm a sissy? Well, uh, well, that is, well, no, no, of course not. If you have one small doubt that I'm a sissy, I'd be glad to show you otherwise. <laughs> well, well, no, uh, I could never think that, Bill. Well, uh, according to your logic, I am a sissy, Frank. I like music. I attend church and Sunday school, and I don't go around picking fist fights. In fact, I do everything I can to avoid trouble. Well, uh, it's different in your case, Bill. Why is it different? Well, I can't explain it exactly. Well, I can. The fact of the matter is that you haven't taught your son the real values in life. But you're telling me I, I failed as a father? Let me tell you something, Frank. You've given the boy a good home, as far as physical comforts are concerned. But you haven't developed his spiritual and moral life. Some of our greatest men came from poor homes. They were taught to fear God and to love his son. They were given sound spiritual training. You mean... I want to somewhere else. Well, I'm going to as Christ is his savior, he'll be grounded on a solid foundation. And believe me, Frank, there's no other foundation that'll weather the storms of life. But does it work out the way it's supposed to? Is, is there anything I can do now? Well, that's something we'll have to find out. We can't force, Roger. All we can do is teach him. And pray. And wait. Roger, you guys. 
as soon as he gets to the alley, we'll jump in. Yeah, he won't get away. Okay, get him. Okay, get him. Okay, get him. Okay, you guys, knock it off. Okay. Come on, make it snappy, Hank, before it rains your friend. Oh, yeah. So you thought you could duck us, huh, Roger? Now you're going to get the beating you got coming. Yeah. Grab him, buddy, so he can't run. Now, wait a minute. All right. You're asking for it. No! Hey, that's dirty fighting. Play on him, gang. What's the matter, Hank? Are you afraid to jump on me yourself? Oh, I'll show you if I'm afraid. Put him up on the ground. Look at him. Somebody shot him jujitsu. Can't fight with his fist. Got to use that fancy stuff. Go ahead and show him, Roger. Play as much as you can. Bill, where'd you come from? I've just been keeping an eye on you. Uh, look, if these fellas want to fight fairly, I've got boxing gloves in my car. Get them and take a couple of these fellas over the ropes. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to. Hey, Roger, remember what Paul said? Paul? Paul who? Oh, sure, Bill. I'll get the gloves. I won't see you in a minute. Get him, Hank. Come on, block you. Hank, block you. Go. Uh, that's the last time you'll hit me, Roger. Yeah, come on, Hank. Come on, come on, Hank. Come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. maybe. Ha ha, you missed. Uh. Hey, look at that. He's got Hank Tom. Wow, yeah. can he fight? Yeah. Hey, who's that about you? Yeah. 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 I do, Bill. Wonderful, Raj. I don't think you'll have any more trouble when the word gets around that you beat up two of the toughest guys in school. The credit's all yours, Bill. <laughs> it was a pleasure, Raj. And we'll see you Saturday evening at Goose Lake, huh? Yeah, I'm all practiced up. Good. Say, Roger. Oh, yeah, Bill? Why not invite Hank and Bonnie's gang to the meeting? A good idea. I'll do it. See ya. Hello, Frank. Hi, Bill. Mm, we got here in the nick of time. It's like we're in for a bad storm. Yeah. Huh? It's bad, all right. Mm. Shall we go inside? Mm, that would be a good idea. Yeah. Say, look at this big gang of kids. Yeah. We got a good crowd tonight. And the meeting's about ready to start. Uh, Bill, I, I think lightning's hit the building. We'd we better do something before these kids stampede. Yeah, you're right, Mike. Well, Roger, get to the organ. Play like you've never played before. Right away, Bill. Let's drive those doors, fellas. we got to get the kids to run and riot. Hang on. We're going to run for it. Get out, Bill! 
Wow. That was a close one. Come on now. Picture mayor, come on, let's. Come on, let's get this picture mayor. Okay. Gentlemen, please, please. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to pay tribute to a courageous young man. He calmed the stampede of young people by playing the organ until they were safely outside the burning auditorium at Goose Lake. He risked his own life to save the lives of others. As mayor of Naughty Pine, it gives me real pride to present this Medal of Merit to you, Roger Holmes. Yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, a reception will be held in my office. You're all invited to help us honor Roger Holmes. Yeah. Bill, how's my dad taking all this? You think I've convinced him? I'm not a sissy. You'll find out, Roger. Here he comes now. Hello, Bill. Thank you for everything you've done. Roger, will you forgive your dad for being such an ornery old mule? I'm ashamed of myself. Dad, what are you ashamed of? When did I ever called you a sissy? But, Dad, I was scared. That I can't believe, son. But I was. Mm. When I was playing the organ, I was so scared I almost forgot how to play. Then I thought of what the Apostle Paul said. Apostle Paul? What did he say? He said, I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. That's right, Roger. The Lord can give you the courage and strength to meet any emergency or any problem. I guess Bill proved that you don't judge a man by the size of his knuckles, but by the courage and faith he has in his heart. Well, see you next week for more adventures with... Ranger!